That doesn't seem right. Dude, this thing's insane. You have, go for a you ride? have to get in here. <laughs> it's wild. Keen, what are we doing? So, well, let's start at the beginning here. I'm pulling this in to do an oil pan gasket and a engine mount, but I forgot that Jake gave me this, and we're like, you know what, let's put this somewhere. And we came up with a bunch of ideas. You can see I got this going on, it's flex pipe, but Jake had a good idea of putting, we'll this. <laughs> Jake had a good idea of putting this, like, mounted like this, to where off the turbo just comes up through the, the hood and just just right on the top. Cold Maybe. air. Yeah, because right now it's definitely not cold air. And there's nowhere else to go besides anywhere along this route. So why not put it right in the middle? I think it'd be cool. I think we should try it. I think it's going to look sick. It would sound really neat. It would sound super neat. Yeah, yeah. Especially super with neat. the sunroof cracked open. Already with that uh, with that wastegate, it sounds amazing. But if we can get this intake like right next to your face and getting cold air, like it'll sound sick and it'll perform better. So let's do that. Are we back? Yeah, we're back now. All right, so I think we have a game plan here. I'm gonna draw it up for you. I'll just do a, a sketch to show you what we're doing. So, you know, we got the, the uh... Maybe we're drawing black so I can see it. The MR2, you can't see that? No. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. It's the MR2, right? Mm-hmm. With the, the window. Of course, we got the wheels on here. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. So we got the red because that's the color of the filter. We're gonna just have this like that. Yeah, that looks good. Honestly, like we could post that, <laughs> right, on Instagram. That's the plan. Let's analyze this real quick. Oh yeah, we got this. We need a couple more silicone uh, pieces. Uh, we're gonna get a 45 degree bend pipe come off the turbo. Gonna come up a little bit with a straight pipe. Another 45 to come out of the hood. Cut a hole like right here. Are you seeing this? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then we'll have another uh, silicone connector that will pass through the hood so that I'll be able to, you know, take the air filter off to open the hood. And then we'll just mount that there. But I do have to include some bracing. We can't just have this hanging off the turbo on silicone boots. We're gonna figure something out with that for like mounting down here and probably one up here to the, the roof. So let's go to the, the store, get this stuff. We're gonna take these with us. Last time we went to, what was it, Advanced Auto? Yeah. They didn't have anything. You see those auto parts? Yeah. And they have like a whole warehouse. I think they'd be more adept to being like, oh, we've got something that'll do that and that kind of thing. So let's try them first. So this is St. Louis Auto Parts we're going to. They're like a, you know, a dive bar version of auto parts stores. They have a lot of stuff, but I don't know if they're really adept at being like, yeah, we got a little piece of this and that to put together. We might end up going to AutoZone because they got a lot of exhaust components because it's kind of like the only thing they have there. And if that doesn't work, we'll go to O'Reilly's. I hope we don't spend long because I want to start working on this. They're not going to be happy to see me walking through this. That's it, it's a hole in the wall. Hello. Would that be possible here? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, have any kind of rubber boots or connectors or clamps or anything like that for the you know, it's a problem. You yeah. to get online to get that stuff anymore. Yeah, true. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. It kicks us out. <laughs> I looked at this for one second, I'm like, nah. It's a door for me. Huh? I was talking to the camera, dude. Oh. 
I was telling them that we're going to auto zone now. Oh. So we came up with a little game plan. We got some stuff that might work. Way overpriced plastic intake components, a 245s and like a four or five inch section of straight pipe and some silicone boots and one adapter for, you know, two inch to three inch or something. So we got that, we, I think we have the right stuff to be able to do the job now. Hey, okay, cool. So we got stuff from AutoZone. There's a little extension length. The converter piece, the uh, silicone collars, my oil filter, the 45 and another 45. These are all three inch, so we had to get three inch stuff. So we got the converter piece to the turbo. This one fits the di diameter of these and it's in there. So that'll come off the turbo. One of these will go through that and then the next one will attach to that and then this one will attach to that. Pretty simple. Nice. I mean, yeah, we can trim it for sure and center it. It's really close though. But I mean, like, I it's like, coming together like, pretty well. Like well, let me, uh, let me, uh, I'll take a shit real quick. What's up, guys? Back. Uh, we got a two and a quarter inch hole saw. We're gonna approximately locate where this is gonna be on the hood, drill through it. Of course, we're gonna, you know, tape off the inlet to the turbo first. And then drill through it, and whatever offset that we have, we're just going to grind it and open it up to three inches overall, at least three inches. Maybe three and a quarter inch, three and a half inch. Yeah, you can just watch us do it. Wish me luck. Let's see where we're at now. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. That doesn't seem right at all. No, it seems, it seems right. We're good. I got my stuff now. Confused in my head. Isn't this cool? Like, this is pretty exciting. It's pretty crazy. Take a look at it. You know, it's not the unicorn, but it's the unicorn. Interesting. There's like 
Dude, nice. You guys starting it right now? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds so loud in here. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, so I'll do that. I'll pull out this way, go around front, and then come around. Alright, cool, yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's terrifying. Dude, I like how you just taped it. I didn't just notice you just taped the whole... Oh. <laughs> I had to. I did something. Dude, so that, loud. Is, that is the best thing ever. <laughs> what a crazy experience that is. It's cooler than exhaust noise. Dude, I know. <laughs> I've never had, been in a car that sounds like that. That's Dude. wild. Dude. It's way better under load. That's a oh. whole different story. That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> Dude, it's so much noise. <laughs> it's so much turbo noise. I love it. Dude, do it with it closed, with the hatch closed. Yeah, I'm curious. Now, I want to know if we can still hear a bunch of it. I'm sure we can. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. That sounds like the perfect amount with the hood for the roof closed. Yeah. 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 It's just a whole other experience. <laughs> Executed it well. It never gets old. <laughs> Dude, Jacob has no idea. <laughs> I mean, if you love cars, you can't not love this. Dude, this thing's insane. You have, go for a you ride? have to get in here. <laughs> It's wild. We started the day doing uh, an idea of doing maintenance. We ended up modifying it and it's pretty sick. So <laughs> uh, we're still gonna do the maintenance. It's just probably next video, no problem. Got the engine mount, the oil pan gasket, and e-brake cables. We'll just throw it all in one video. That's maintenance. Yeah, yeah. this is cool. This is on video. Thanks for watching though. Be sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends. <laughs>